But when Vin Blaine was relieved of his duties as Reggae Girls head coach, there was only one man the JFF could have called on to get the job done. That's Lorne Donaldson. Lorne Donaldson is not the most popular name in Jamaican football. And that's because he's unknown to many Jamaicans. The most significant thing that jumps out about Lorne is his achievement as a coach with the Reggae Girls. But who is the man? This week, Lorne Donaldson takes us through his journey into coaching. I grew up in the Mountain View area. Um, attended Papine High School, you know, they are good, you know, was I cricketer first and a, a football player after. And from Papine, which was a, at the time a junior secondary, I moved on to um, KC and um, Douglas Forrester ac accepted me in and from, from KC, there was um, a lot of good, good, good players, you know, like, you know, um, Charles Ed Lamb at Vauxhall and, you know, Schenk and a, a lot of guys at, at uh, Papin and some of us went to GSC, some of, some of us went to KC. From KC, um, there was a legendary team with Owe Bell and those guys. I came in right after that, you know, after Owe Bell, you know, played. 72, 73, 74. So, 72, we played, we, I think we were five games in. Tourn the tournament got suspended. And it got suspended because there was a, a bus driver was killed down in St. Elizabeth. You know, <laughs> the reason is still unknown, it's legendary. But the bus, the bus uh, from what they say, the bus was chased down and they dragged the driver out and killed him. So. The tournament was suspended and we were five or six games in. Everybody was five or six games in. KC was undefeated. Now, KC was a favorite, actually. Uh, Woolmuth was very good and GSC was very good. Then in 73, same thing, the, 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 the Manning Cup was suspended again. 